өнөөдөр бид тэдгээр ухаарал хайрласан лекцийн нэг болох 2015 оны 8 дугаар сарын 5-нд Францад англи хэл дээр айлдсан буддын амьдралын 8 бэгэн зам мөр лекцийн 3 дугаар хэсгийг багш шавин шүтэлцээгээр төлөвлөж байна. You was the no no nothing about this. <laughs> okay. You don't know is that many of the animals in the animal kingdom they hide their magical power even dogs cats they don't show it in front of you but they have magical power that's why sometimes you, maybe you adopted a dog and suddenly your sickness gone and your family become more rich or, or your some problem has gone away they do it quietly to help you to 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 repay your kindness or because they love you hmm? because you're kind to them yeah or cat even you know they could die for you too so that your son live yeah. something like that yeah okay animals they do things they don't tell you even if they tell you you're deaf blind dumb you know nothing about animals truly like that some of you would know some of you know or maybe you notice the change so fast when before dog and after dog or before cat before birds before chicken even before cow before pigs even you know all the animals they have magical power not just a dragon they can transform themselves into human sometimes if they need to to help you or to help someone or to do something okay they can contact heaven and hell we cannot as some of you can after initiation of course what i mean is normal people cannot do not know mm. so this uh uh, I'm reading here now. Mm. This person is exactly the dragon manifested into the human body uh, just to, you know, <laughs> do this. Uh, he just says in his house, but he has no house on earth. He could have if he want to, but he don't live on earth. The dragon, they can live both on earth and the water. Even tortoise, tortoise, tortoise. Uh, there's another name for it. Turtle, yeah. They also have magical power. They could live up to 500 years. And um, they could live both on land and water. Eh? We cannot. We humans, thinking we are fantastical, but we lack so many things. And uh, the only thing, the best thing we possess better than animal even, is the wisdom. And the wisdom eye that we can see things all over the universe that we even lost the ability to use. And the telepathy ability, we also lost it. We lost so many of our power. We lost the power to fly. We lost the power to walk under the ground, under the soil, under the earth, unnoticed. Understand? We lost the power to to transform ourselves into trees or things in order to uh, avoid danger, etc. We lost many things. We lost war, or the, we lost the ability to walk underwater, unharmed. Uh, it's a true story. You know, one of my nuns before, you know, she, she happened to fall into uh, deep water, huh? and then. We go, we look in all over for thing to, a big stick or something to get her out. You know, she was already deep in the water, but afterwards she can get hold of that, and then we put her, pull her up. When it, when she was in water, she said it's no problem. She can breathe, she can see things, and no harm to her. And then she, when she get up, we worry to death, like some problem, not nothing, <laughs> no water in the lung, <laughs> no choking, no. No uh, uh, mouth uh, resuscitation, nothing. She came up just like normal, like she has never been in there. It's a true story, long time ago, when I was uh, homeless still, you know. In the beginning, I have only monks, no money. <laughs> and then we camp uh, different areas, and then finally we found a big river in uh, near Hao Ta, in Pintong. And then we camp on the riverside. And that, that's why she fell into one of the deep, deep area of the, 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 the river. We, we, 
I could not uh, get her out because it's too deep, you know? And then I panicked, nobody. I was there too. I said, get, get, just get a big stick. And then she will hold on to it. And then we just uh, pull her up. And it happened, okay? Yeah. None of them can swim. And I can swim, but I can probably not rescue. Just get a stick and you know, put it down, long, and she get up. Yeah, I, I didn't have any house at that time. We don't have enough money to even buy tent. We one tent for three, four people, you know. And the small tents or some, some guys too tall, the, the toes sticking out. <laughs> and sometimes I go and tickle it. <laughs> Yeah, naughty master. <laughs> I said, get up, meditate. <laughs> Don't lay the, you know, stretch out like a bamboo tree like that. <laughs> so at that time, if the master power didn't help, you know, that none would have died. Or at least joke, you know, come up, we have to pump the water out or something. We don't have facility and it's too far from the doctor. We did not have car. They have one uh, fifth-hand truck, and he's always sleeping on the road. He doesn't want to go anywhere. <laughs> you go five five kilometer, and then tired, <laughs> take a rest <laughs> on the road. And we have to push and bomb and pray, and and then sometimes he doesn't care, you know. And then we have to call somebody or something like that, you know. Therefore, even before we could make that truck get out of his sleepiness and bring the nun to the hospital, probably. Too late, <laughs> see? <laughs> so it was good that she has protection and did not die. All right, so in just a, uh, in just a few seconds, <laughs> he brought a big tray of that kind of fruit and bring it to the, the, the gardener, the royal gardener. And not only that, many other uh, precious uh, nutrition, fruits and other kind of thing from the kingdom of the ocean that we don't have here on the planet. The big tray full of precious stuff. And then he bring it to the gardener and tell him, when you bring this uh, fruit tray, you know, full of different fruit to the king, and then you say to the king that I was a long time friend of the king. Yeah, you know, best friend in the uh, former life, in a Brahmin uh, clan. Uh, and we both have uh, received the eight ways to purification. Yeah. And both of us have a, a wish, you know, he wished to become a king, enjoying all the beautiful earthly pleasure, and I wish to become a heavenly uh, god. Yeah? one of the gods, you know, like maybe chakra god or something like that. But because the king has kept the eight precepts perfectly, so he became king of the, the, the humans. I have not kept the precept, so I become, uh, I would say, exiled as a dragon. Yeah. And also it's not very uh, comfortable life. Mm. And my body also not beautiful. Of course, at this time it's beautiful because he can manifest himself for a while, but not long term. You understand? I told you already many times the astral being or the heavenly being can manifest themselves into human form accordingly for how long? Okay? Yes. Depends on their power. Yeah. Even the 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 devil from from hell they can manifest as human too and to charm humans, to seduce people, to do bad things. If that person is not perfect enough, then they can do that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, um, but, so even though the dragon, he has a lot of magical power, but his body is, is, is not as perfect, you know, as he wanted to be. <laughs> not like God, you know, shining with... Uh, light all over, yeah, and have all the heavenly pleasure, yeah. So he said, um, now, now I would like to receive this uh, eight ways of purification again, eight um, purification uh, precept, precept again, precept, right, precept again. 
Okay, so that I will uh, continue to practice that I become a god in heaven. You know, not almighty, of course, you understand, right? Yes. A diva, a god in heaven. If the king, mu the king must try to find that uh, a little booklet for me, how, you know, before. Imagine, already received it before and be born in a dragon, powerful, magical power and, light, and cannot even remember what to do with the what is the precepts was. Understand? He just remember the title, there's a precept, but he can't remember anything else. So he asked the king have to find that book for him. The booklet, you know? Okay. If the king won't do that, I am going to destroy his kingdom and uh, flatten it to become a lake, uh, 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 an ocean. Imagine how much power he has. He can destroy the whole kingdom. All the country become ocean. Wow, scary, huh? Do you have any? If somebody asks, please give it to him. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have, tell him go to some of the Buddhist uh, academy, okay? <laughs> some monks. <laughs> All right. Or tell him this story. <laughs> All right. But this is more detail, you know, more detail, not, not just what I read to you, and uh, number one, number two, number three, it's more detail, okay? To explain and why you do this, why you do that. If you keep this precept, what kind of merit you will uh, incur, you will um, receive, and what kind of that, and that, understand, huh? Okay. Oh, the gardener, so happy, happy, you know immediately run with the tray <laughs> into the palace. <laughs> with, with, and then uh, give it to the king, and then tell him the whole, the whole story from the dragon. After the king heard that, he's so nervous, uh, his heart pumping so fast, <laughs> yeah, and his face changed, very anxious worried, you know, stressed. Why? Do you know why? Who, who knows? I can give you one candy. <laughs> power. 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 What? Power. 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 Yeah. yeah. He was afraid. He was afraid, I know, I know. Because he didn't know where to find the... Power. Correct. I can't give you too many candy, it's bad for your teeth. <laughs> so what, okay? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, because at that time, the Buddha is not in the world anymore. The teaching of the Buddha is gone. In the old time, we don't print thousands of books anymore. Even now, we don't, we don't have internet so I can upload like the way we, I do for you. Yeah, I mean, the way I tell the monks to do for you? I have nothing. So mostly people don't have any means to even print paper. Understand? Maybe there's no paper even at that time. Or the sutra probably written on, on a, a thin piece of, of, of wood or, you know, and then the, the, the insect will eat it in no time. Or, you know, heavy stones, you know, slim piece of stone. And then who is going to take a thousand pieces of stone to go to the Buddha area and ride one by one and take it home? Understand? And no car even. You know, only cow, cart, or horse, a carriage. You see what I mean? So you have to know why it's like that. It's not like nowadays even any master die, there's still something left because the disciple printed, recorded, and printed out. Like the one yesterday, the master uh, Dunov, Peter already went to heaven, but we still has his uh, prophecy. One of the disciples collected and gave to us, you see, to me to read. Yesterday I read it to you? Mm, okay. Because his disciple recorded, you know, in, with a record player maybe, or write it down on paper, it's, it's lighter, they have shorthand or something, easy. You see what I mean? Mm. 
Yeah, at that time, uh, up to 1944, I'll probably have already a record player, yeah? Okay. And also a videotape, remember? So we saw some of his video before, his life before, before he, he passed away, remember? Yeah. But in those times, long, long time ago, there's nothing like that. Yeah. So, okay, all the Buddha Sutra, Buddha teaching, whatever recorded, is gone, probably minimal, you know? In the old time, it's difficult to, to spread the teaching so quick. It also depends on how long the master lives, you see? Yeah. And after, maybe the disciple wrote something, but they keep for themselves and in their group. So it's a very minimal yeah, numbers. So that the Buddha is already long passed into the nirvana, and the Buddha teaching already dwindle, disappear in, in, the, in the world. So knowing you that not every epoch, not every era has master, eh? Understand? Not master. Uh, enlightened being, not, no Buddha. Not all the time. Hmm. Sometimes it happens that two or three master in the, in the world, in the same world, but different level, of course. Huh? But, but sometimes nothing at all. Sometimes lower level. And then there's nowhere he don't know what to do. Yeah. And day and night from then, he is very, very, very afraid for himself and for his subjects, yeah? What to do, what to do. Mm. He doesn't know uh, in which, which way he can solve this problem. And then one day he was sitting there and thinking about this. And there was uh, one... Uh, uh, one of his uh, uh, court officers who came in, yeah, he's like a prime minister of that time. Also, is he? Uh, yeah, he's the most important uh, officer at that time, of course, ne? prime minister, ne? Uh, apart from the king. Yeah, he's the second king of the country. And then he just tell the prime minister his problem, hmm? and then. Ask him whether or not he could help him to ask people go around everywhere and find it for him. This uh, eight path of eight ways of purification. And the prime minister also shook his head and said, "There's no Buddha at this time. No Buddha teaching anymore since a long time. Where will I be able to find this?" So the king said. Please try your best, please, please, because if not, I, you, and the whole country perished. So you have to. You must do it. <laughs> it's easy to be king, huh? Yeah. You must. And then he has to. Otherwise, chop, chop, anyway. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so after the king said thirst, he... He prostrate to the king and then left. And this prime minister is a very uh, good man, you know, not just a good uh, officials, but he is also a very good man. And he's very, very filial to his father. Yeah. His mother has uh, passed away. He has only a father. So he take, took care of him every day and he lived with him. So anything... Uh, normally, okay, normally uh, only good things he would tell his father, understand? And whenever he come home, even though the, the, um, the state affair is sometimes heavy and troublesome, he never, he never show it on his face. He, whenever he come home, he always smiling and, you know, look happy and positive. So his father doesn't worry. Because his father would think, oh, my son is happy, there's nothing wrong with him, nothing bother him, he's good, you know. <laughs> but today, he cannot pretend to be happy. <laughs> he came home and his face is so long like the horse. Yeah, I'm just joking. Yeah. Very, very, very sad face, very darkened, very worried, very stressed. So the father asked him, of course, Today you went to see the king. What is, what is the problem that makes you feel so sad? I have never seen your face like this before. Could you tell me? Yeah. 
saw the uh, Prime Minister say, yeah, blessed Father, today the King told me, ordered me to find the, um, the book booklet of the eight ways pur- of purification from the Buddha uh, teaching. If I cannot, then the whole country will be destroyed. So I'm so worried, so sad. I don't know what to do because I don't know where to find this. Yeah. So the, the father say, Oh, don't worry. We have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think because uh, in one of our uh, house, big column, I often see light, you know, emitting out of it, very bright light. So you you ask uh, our um, servant to chop, <laughs> chop chop the 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 columns, yeah, the house column, and see what's inside. I think there's something to do with Buddha's teaching, at least something. Yeah. Okay. So they chop chop, yeah. And uh, they they first put another column in, you know, to, to <laughs> huh, to support the house. Yeah, and then they chop that, and then they saw it. They saw two, two booklet inside. One is the twelve affinity. Oh, I tell you another time, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, it will be long, long, long. <laughs> and then we'll never finish before ten. <laughs> yeah, it's almost finished. It's the last page. One is uh, uh, the Twelve Affinity, you know? And another one is the Highway of Purification. Wow. Of course, you know how the Prime Minister felt, yeah? Oh, he was so happy, happy, happy. Run, 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 run. To, to give it to the, the king. Yes. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Ah, yeah, 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 he ran to give it to the king. And the king was also very happy. Uh, she, 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 she. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> gracias, gracias. Mucho gracias, mucho gracias. Vielen Dank. Huh? Uh, how to say that in Russia? In Russian? Spasiba. Huh? Spasiba. 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 I say correctly? Spasiba. Okay, very good. And in Hungarian, I know. Kusinam, right? Uh, yeah, 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 right? Kusinam, yeah. In Indian, in Indian Hindu is um, uh, su, su, no, no say, yeah. In Indian, in Indian Hindu is um, uh, su, su, no, no say, Sukriya. <laughs> I want to remember Sukriya. Yeah. In Arabian also, eh? Shukriya, right? Uh, Sukra, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How is that in uh, in, 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 in Serbian? In, in... No, 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 in uh, uh, Iran. Also Shukriya, I think, huh? Is that good? There are some Iranians. Iranian? No, they are on the second floor. On the on the back? In front? On top? Then how come you sit here? <laughs> uh, normally you all sit upstairs, you know? Ah, what? Tashakur. Like, like Arabic and Indian. Tashakur. Tashakur? That's a, a, a Iranian? Okay, okay. And how is that in, in, in Hebrew? Hebrew? Judai language? No? 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 You forgot? Then why you tell me you forgot? <laughs> <laughs> You should only tell me if you remember. <laughs> we don't have any uh, Jewish here today? No, huh? Yeah. Okay. We'll see on the internet tomorrow. We'll tell you. What is? Tomorrow you can tell you? You can search on the uh, internet. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Everything today you can find huh, on the internet. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful world. So we should preserve this world for the next generation. And pray that the uh, the prediction of uh, Master Gu Dunov will come true soon, soon, soon. Yeah, it will come true, but soon, soon. You know, not just sometime, uh, whenever, <laughs> but soon. Mm. All right. <laughs>
was okay. And then after that, uh, he, the king told somebody to copy. Copy left uh, there, one. And then another one gave it to the royal gardener to offer it to the dragon. The dragon received this uh, sutra, was also overjoyed, overjoyed. And then he went back to his uh, uh, ocean palace, Bought a lot, 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 a lot of jewels and precious stones and all kind of precious thing. Back to give it to the king. Yeah. Ten minutes, right? Okay, I be fast. Ten minutes. Okay, okay, I be fast. But ten, stop. Okay, huh? And from then on, the dragon diligently, you know honestly and uh, disciplinarily kept this uh, a way of 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 purification uh, precept yeah okay after he died yeah he we born again in in heaven become one of the diva one of the god and joy in heavenly uh, you know happiness and and all the Pleasure in there. And the king himself also reminded now, he also keep this precept from then on. And then when he died, he also born in the same heaven as a dragon. And both are buddy buddies again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? It sounded cute. The way how you just said it. Oh, they're buddy, you know, friends. Yeah, <laughs> of course I do that on purpose to make you happy. Yeah, just to make things light, you know. I cannot just sit here and say, keep the precept, <laughs> or else I'm the master. I say so. It must be done. <laughs> Understand? I like you to receive the teaching with love, with happiness, with willingness. You know, not like force you because you're intelligent. I don't have to force you to do anything. You will just receive it, and you will just accept it. And you will just understand it, and then you will just try to make the best out of it. Huh? Okay? So it's better to laugh while listening than to... Okay, Master. <laughs> 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 Do or die, Master. <laughs> Anan, you should know. The Buddha returned to reality. Yeah? Anan, you should know. There those two people at that time, is the two uh, from Brahman come down right now? Uh, the two from heaven just come down right now. Uh, and now they have uh, they have uh, uh, attained uh, two da one. I don't know what is that. Let me think. A uh, low third level. Hmm? Okay, low third level. Arahan is a uh, high third. You know, high third, but between the even between the third and the fourth. And after Arahan, if you die, you then you enter the fourth level. Understand? Automatically. Yes. And from then, perhaps you can continue to the fifth. Yeah. So to the one here is e equivalent to our low, low third level. Okay? Yeah. Not as high as Arahan. Okay. And then now they both uh, attain this to the uh, um level of consciousness. And all the, the three uh, lower and levels of uh, rebirth and death, they will already cut asunder. They will not be reborn again hmm. in such and such, you know, lower level, like humans or asura or devils or hell or animals. Hmm? Okay. And then life after life, they will be born either in the human's life, human's uh, world or heavenly world, enjoying all the blessings until they attain nirvana. Yes. Once you are initiated by a master, the master will take care until you go to the end, even if you're not here anymore, even the master is not here anymore. The affinity is still there. Connection is not lost. How many lives the master still finds you? Or someone else master will find you and then bring you up. And you will not fall down again, ever. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to say. After the Buddha said thus, many people in that assembly 
so happily, gladly, uh, I want to keep the eight precepts of purification. And everyone prostrate to the Buddha and dissipate, you know, appear, uh, disappear. I mean, <laughs> went away. <laughs> okay, okay, now we have to go. Thank you for listening. Thank you.